the sort of sort of idols. They are they people. People sure come so. far and wide to visit the donkeys. Meet them. Hiroshima is a great place for animal lovers. We have deer on Miyajima Island. We have rabbits on Okunoshima Island, and now you can also visit donkeys in Onomichi. Hi, and welcome to Seek Sustainable Japan on Location. I'm your host JJ Walsh, and today we are at Onomichi Donkey Paradise. Donkey Paradise was started by Taiji and Junko, who are retired Juku teachers, and they felt their hillside location. Looking out over Japan's Seto Inland Sea, reminded Taiji of his favorite book, Platero and I, a Spanish book about an Andalusia family and their donkey. So they named the donkeys after the characters in the book, and it started as a hobby, but turned into a donkey farm and guest house, which is open to the public since 2021. They have an aim of creating a welcoming, educational space where people can engage with animals and nature. The beautiful photos on the yearly calendar and on many of the products is taken by the couple's daughter Mariko Tagashira, who's a professional photographer. Francois, originally from Belgium, took me around the farm and introduced me to the donkeys. Officially, time to start! Yay! We are here at the Donkey Paradise in Onomichi.、Uh, it's in Hiroshima, so it's just about 90 minutes drive from Hiroshima City.、Um, so we'll start with some of the products that they have here. They used to run a cafe, but during coronavirus,、uh, they stopped running the cafe. But they have some really cute little donkey products here, donkey cookies. Francois, can you show us inside? Oh, they're cute! Donkey cookies are such a nice original product made from a local bakery called Okashi Kobo Godo, and、uh, the baker even uses some of her own local horsetail plant as one of the ingredients for the cookies, and it's in a reusable tin. And they use a local designer to design the cover. And then that gorgeous、uh, 2023 calendar, which is made by、uh, the owner's daughter. She's a professional photographer, and she took all these gorgeous photographs here at the donkey farm. And then the donkey T-shirts. They're made by Uniqlo, which is an international brand, but you can get. Your own design, made by Uniqlo, even in small batches. I didn't know. And what's this over here? This is a magnet. Magnet. Gold magnet. Gold. Where are you from, Francois? So I'm from Belgium, and I'm Luxembourgish. The French accent. Exactly. That that would be a <laughs> Belgian accent, right? Well, French accent. Yeah. So I'm from the French-speaking part of Belgium. Although I don't have a very strong Belgian accent, though if you are French, you would notice. Yeah. The Belgian.、Accent. And why did you want to come to Japan? So I first came as a student,、uh, Japan as a student, because I was interested in Japan, where in Japanese country, Japanese culture.、Um, I started well, when I came to Japan. I came as you know, a philosophy student in Osaka University. And then, Philosophy student, wow! <laughs> And now working with donkeys. But I... <laughs> And this morning I saw、uh, you guys brushing the donkeys. They get really dusty because, like like the rabbits on Rabbit Island, they like to take a dust bath, right? And then we have three donkeys up here, and we're gonna visit. Three donkeys at the lower enclosure as well. Hello. This is Allegria. Allegria really likes my shoes, right? Allegria, she likes to eat my shoes. So there's some goats over here as well. I like how you have built some of the boxes from old、uh, skis. 
and the old snowboards. You gotta reuse old mat material. They、uh, used to be Juku teachers. So, Juku is like a Japanese cram school、uh, where they help kids catch up at school and get ready for tests and get into better schools after graduation. There's the goats there. Um, how many donkeys? People are asking. So we have three up here and three down there. But we have three and a half. One, one is pregnant with a baby. <laughs> you have your tongue hanging out. That is too cute. The way, the way they drink water is not like dog when they you know, sip it in.、Uh -huh. They、uh, suck it.、Out. They suck it?、Mm. Wow, they don't use a straw though. So they use the tongue as a straw.、Uh -huh. That's why they often have the tongue coming out afterwards. But she's particularly, you know. She's gorgeous. <laughs> That is so cute. Low maintenance、mm, animals, yeah,、exactly. huh?、Uh, they don't need too much like medicine,、mm. or they don't need too much care.、Mm. And then you were saying before that some of the ones who were born here are actually going to live at other cafes or other、mm. petting zoos around Japan, right?、Mm, exactly. So you guys are also populating. The donkey population in Japan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the gorgeous goat over here. Such a great beard. So this is Mugi. Mugi. This is the male one. Wheat, wheat in Japan. Mugi. Okay, it's from the photo, maybe. Mm hmm. So you can see he's a good mate. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, he's pretty strong, so he would be that he's. You know, he's broken down that bed before,、uh -huh. so we have to reinforce it.、Oh. He's pretty good at getting his head and horns in and out of that space. Yeah, yeah I think he's used to it. And those horns, they don't get stuck too easily because、uh -huh. of the shape. The... Is this a salt lick、mm, over here? Exactly, the salt lick.、Uh -huh. oh, you have amazing eyes. Aren't their eyes interesting? Actually, donkeys have the same you know, horizontal、really? eyes, but、is、you don't、right? see it very often because I don't know what is it with donkeys' eyes, but they always see the jet black.、Uh -huh. There's some kind of thing going on with the reflection, but when you catch it at the right angle, you can see they have the same eyes as goats. Really?、Yeah. Do people <laughs> use donkeys' milk for? So, so donkey milk is famous for as a Health product. Is that right? Donkey milk beauty products. Yeah, it's famous that Cleopatra used、oh. to take baths. Was it donkey's milk that Cleopatra that took? Oh. There is a company in Japan who sells donkey milk soap. Really?、Right. I've never heard of that. And so we can see Allegria is trying to dig. So the... Allegria likes digging. <laughs> She likes digging. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's kissing you! How sweet is that? So come here. She was actually born premature, and so she was rejected by her mother,、oh. and that so she was raised by the owner directly, which、uh -huh. you know. Isn't this cute? A nice little. Sleeping and patio area, and、uh, friends. What you were saying is quite popular for people who love donkeys, but also for people who just want to relax, right?、Mm, exactly. And above the gate here, it says in Japanese is、uh, donkey in Japanese, and then what does the kanji mean? Bokujo. Bokujo. So it's the、uh, bokujo is the area a ranch. A ranch. Okay. English, you call it.、Uh, uh, <laughs> you can hear the donkeys. <laughs> and then、uh, you don't let them ride anymore, right? You used to let kids ride. ride. 
food. They want to eat. They see the food coming. So when they have guests visit, the guests、uh, are able to feed them. That's part of the activities that they do when guests come. So the donkeys are really happy when people visit because they know they're going to get some good food, right, Francois? And here's the baby here. What are the donkeys' names? So this is Platera. Platera. In red, it's Platera, the mother. So my mother. Yeah. The in here is Darbon. Darbon. In white. Darbon. And the little one is Parikar. Parikar. These names are hard for me. Parikar. Parikar. So Platera and Darbon. They are names from the poem. Platero and I, by the Spanish、uh, poet Jimenez. So Platero will.、Uh, is... Oh 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 oh. She will. No. <laughs> is she gonna bite me? Ah, she I... won't bite. She、okay. will bite the other donkeys. Oh, don't bite the、yes. other donkeys. <laughs> she gets angry. I'm trying to feed the baby, but you、yeah, want to take it all.、Yeah. You want to take it all. You give it to her, and then why she? <laughs> okay. Oh, you you're clever! To... You're clever! You have to quick. Here、sorry. we go. There you are. Petra has the baby as well, so it makes sense that she's quite. Yeah. Platera is the one trying to get the most. What do you have in your hair? Their ears are so thick. Very different from, well, similar actually to cat ears. They're very complex inside, like different layers inside the ear. And you're the mama. You're pregnant right now, aren't you, Platera? So the baby inside maybe is about three or four months old. No, it's like nine, nine months old. Oh, nine. Okay, so that's why we can see it moving. It takes about twelve months. Twelve months before they give birth. So, so longer than a human gestation. Five babies. So that's the fifth baby that we're looking at here, and she's pregnant with the sixth baby. And so he was born in August. So she must be the alpha female. Definitely. Definitely, he says. That baby. I think there was four of them. Yeah. That must have been six years ago. Oh my goodness! Four of them four broke、years. out together. That must have made national news. Local news. Oh, that、Local. is so funny. Do they have like any、uh, wild boar? If the wild boar come around, do they get upset or?、Mm -hmm. So the wild boars do come around. They do. But、uh, it doesn't seem to be the issue with the donkeys. Uh huh. Distance. Nice. Donkeys are pretty big, so. Yeah, donkeys must be yeah a little bit、uh, intimidating to the wild boar. Yeah. The one issue we've had is we have lost one boar to wild wild dogs. Oh, wild dogs ate the goat. Yeah. Put the halters on、uh, during the day when visitors come. So they can move them around and make sure that they can control them around、uh, people who might be nervous around the animal, right?、Mm -hmm. Asking, how did you become interested in coming to work at a donkey farm? I came first as a visitor. Uh huh. So I was. He had a Japanese friend who had heard about this、uh, this place on TV, and so we <laughs> we came、uh, we just came together, you know, on a little trip, and we really liked it. And the owners mentioned that they were planning to, you know, expand business, and they might need someone, you know, 
with some some more stuff. And then my when I uh, when my contract with my former job ended, I applied here. That's how we started. <laughs> You're so gorgeous. It's uh, rain. They are very social, and especially these guys, since they are with humans, you know, most of the time with us and then with the customers, they are very accustomed to human presence. Yeah, you guys are very comfortable around people, aren't you? You know, if you get to their level, they usually come around and. Oh, you have another one! You have another one behind you! This one wants to eat. Oh! So cute! He's not that good with music. And there's a nice bamboo forest back here, bamboo grove. So they don't like the cold or the, the rain so much, right? Yeah, they don't like it too much. Mm. So they handle the heat quite well, don't they? Mm, yeah, in South America, in North Africa, you know, in Morocco. Currently, there's a Japanese, you know, Taromari, who has been traveling around the world. And currently, he's traveling, he was traveling in Morocco with a donkey. Traveling in Morocco with a donkey? Mm, with a donkey carrying his, you know, carrying his luggage, his baggage. Oh, wow. And so he's quite present on Twitter and I think it, that's uh, one big reason donkeys are getting a bit, a bit more popular in Japan. Right. Oh, we can see it licking the salt. Look here, how sweet. He is saying their coat is not waterproof like the horse. Mm. That horses um, have waterproof coats, but donkeys, is, they get cold and wet. Mm, so that's why it. they don't like the, don't like the rain. Yeah, in, on rainy really days, they usually come inside the shed. Uh -huh. We are at the donkey paradise in Onomichi, and it's raining. So we're inside the shed with the donkeys. Oh, you're digging. What you digging for? What you digging? They like to eat the roots. Seem to like the roots. Are the roots? Mm. This one is you said about nine months pregnant, mm. and they carry the baby until about twelve months, and they can basically have the babies on their own. They don't need a vet to come and help with having the babies, and then you guys just keep monitoring. Just make sure they don't have any problems, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. We have Everybody say thank you to Francois for the great tour. Thank you. And if you're ever in Onomichi in Hiroshima, definitely come and visit. Big thanks to Francois, as well as the owners Taiji and Junko, for showing me around their fun donkey farm. And it's wonderful to see how well the donkeys are being taken care of. It is a great facility for kids of all ages to learn more about animals and enjoy being out in nature. It's only 20 minutes from Fukuyama or Onomichi or Tomono Ura, 90 minutes from Hiroshima City. Find out more at donkeyparadise.jp or on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Have a great day. <laughs> You're too close to the camera. <laughs> very curious. You're very curious. It's always like us when we try to take pictures. Try to take close of pictures, then they come. Right, the right. Taking photos is hard because they're so curious. I'm sorry. Oh, you're super close. You're super close.